Okay, let's get more on Joe Felix's potential transfer to Chelsea and speak to Spanish football journalist Pete Jensen. Uh, good afternoon to you, Pete. Let's talk Hello, about Ricky. it then. Hi there. It's important, I guess, that Felix leaves Atletico Madrid during this window. Would you agree with that? It's important for him um, and it's important for Atletico Madrid as well because he's, his value g goes lower and lower with every... With every passing week, um, it, it's not the great the relationship between him and Diego Simeone. Uh, the club have been very honest about that. Uh, and they need him to go somewhere, play really well, so that if nothing else, at the end of the season, if they do end up selling him, they'll get something close to the £127 million, which was a club record at the time, still a club record, fee that, that, that they spent for him. And he needs it as well because he's... He's just not playing and he's not enjoying his football. And I think one of the big advantages of this deal from Chelsea's point of view is that they're going to get a player who will be super motivated because he needs to put his career back on track. He'll be delighted to get away from, as he sees it, the shackles of Simeone. Relations maybe not be great with some of the senior players at Atletico as well because they know that he wants to leave and it's not good to have someone around the place who wants to leave. Um, he ducked out of a couple of recent cup games and then was fit again to play in the league. So that's not gone down particularly well. So he needs a fresh start. And I think Chelsea will be getting someone who's super motivated to, to play well for the rest of the season. So we'll get into that row with Simeone in just a minute. But there has been lots of clubs put off by this loan fee. Just explain it. What all this cost Chelsea? Well, the, 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 the version we're getting from Atletico Madrid, and we have to remember that the version you get from the English club and the version you get from the Spanish club is very often different. Um, and you have to try and make, make sense of it and decide who you believe. But here they're talking about 11 million euros to take him for the second half of the season and also paying half his wages. His wages aren't particularly high, actually, um, considering the, the money he costs in the transfer market. I think he's gross around 7 million euros. So that may be not a problem, but um, it is an eye-opener, the, the loan fee that's certainly being talked about here. Look, Potter and co are going to have to, like you, you know, you said, make him fall in love with the game, it sounds, again. Um, you know, they're struggling to score goals. So is Felix the right man for them, do you feel? Yeah, yeah I don't think they'll have to make him fall in love with the game again. I, I, I think we, we saw in the World Cup a little bit of what he can do, and he certainly played better for Portugal than he has played for Atletico Madrid. He's he's not a player that can play anywhere, uh, and Simeone loves players who will change positions several times in games, and who will always give up, you know, the, the, their own interests, if you like, for the better of the team. And and he's not that sort of player. You have to play him in a specific role. He needs to be behind a front man. He needs to be playing off somebody, and preferably centrally. He's not. He, he can't really play wide. Or if he is playing wide, then his finishing position will always be central. So if Chelsea can make that work, as I understand it, and I haven't seen a great deal of Chelsea this season, they don't really have a, a target man centre forward. So that remains a problem because Joe Phillips is certainly not that and he's not an orthodox winger who will hug the touchline. Um, but if you get him in those areas off of a front man um, and the rare occasions when Atletico Madrid have played Morata at centre forward and they played Joe Phillips and Griezmann just behind him and those three have linked up, he's been excellent. Um, so, you know, if you get the best out of him, he's, he's, a, he's a really good player. Be interesting to see how he fits in, you know, perhaps with Havertz at the front. Look, let's talk about this this problem then um, in terms of Simeone. Why is the relationship broken down? You know, he paid over £100 million to sign him, didn't he? Well, the club did. Um, I mean, I think Atletico wanted to, to change styles. Um, uh, Diego Simeone won the league playing a certain way. 4-4-2, um, very solid, based on, on defence and also based on letting the other team take the initiative, make the mistakes, and you hit them on the counter-attack. And then once you've gone one nil up, you defend so well that you're going to win the game. And the club wanted that style to change. And, and they brought in Thomas Lamar, who was a record signing at the time for about 70 million euros. Uh, and then and then Joe Felix followed him. Um, and Simeone hasn't really been able to change the style. Um, it, it almost goes against what he really wants. And therefore, Joe Felix is a victim of that. You put Joe Felix in a team that will sit deep, will defend and will try and play on the counter-attack. He's too far from goal. Um, he needs to be playing in a different sort of team. And, and it's, no, um, it's no coincidence that Barcelona tried to sign him a couple of times or at least tried to take him on loan a couple of times. And he would fit the, the, the traditional Barca style far more. He needs to be playing further forward. And he needs to be um, surrounded by the players on the pitch. I think it's a personality thing as well. Simeone loves soldier players. He loves players who, who do as they're told and, and, and will sacrifice themselves for the better of the team.
And Jao Felix, he's not that sort of player and he's never been that sort of player. He turns up as the record signing and he wants a certain sort of treatment. He wants the team to be built around him. Um, and um, so there's a big clash there and there's no way out of it, really. Atletico Madrid moving forward, you either go the Simeone way or you go the Jao Felix way. And for the moment, they've chosen to go the Simeone way. It's interesting you say that because there has been reports that Simeone could leave Atletico. Can you see that happening at all? He's very entrenched. I mean, he, we're talking about someone who's been there. He just recently passed the 11th season anniversary, and which is almost unheard of in Spain, you know. Um, so he has a lot of power um, and also a lot, there's a lot of respect for him. And it, it's always said that, you know, he'll go when he wants to go. There's one scenario where I can see it possibly happening, uh, which is if Jao Felix does brilliantly at Chelsea in between now and the end of the season and Atletico Madrid then fail to make it in, to the Champions League. Simeone won't look great if that happens because it will be shown that, you know, he clearly didn't get the best out of Jao Felix and Atletico will be out of Europe. That might change the scenario, but he's got a contract until 2024. So uh, I can see him going beyond that, to be honest.